Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we have some battered cod and mahi mahi. Served with some sauteed bok choy and cabbage. Oh my goodness. Just look at that crust on that fish. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And let's get into this video. Make and sing and share and cooking tutorials. Welcome, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Welcome to the Sauce Doctor. We are take over tonight. Sauce Doctor, Sauce Doctor. Welcome back to Adrian Cooking and Food Review. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Adrian, and today we're going to be making some battered fried cod and mahi mahi. As you know, we love our seasoning, so we have some jerk seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, Cajun, adobo all-purpose, but the accompanying season the must, and some black pepper. Of course, we need to get our paprika and our cayenne powder, cayenne pepper. All right, so in the bowl right here, we have half of a cabbage and a few heads of bok choy. We're gonna be making some nice, delicious sauteed vegetables, and then we have some self-rising flour, some cornstarch, and we're gonna go in with some um, baking powder and seasoning for its batter. Right here, we got some be live, be live, be live. One time, smack a delicious sauce. So we're gonna be eating that in part two, which is gonna be the mukbang. So take a look, let's get into this video, all right? All right, guys, so now we're gonna be washing our fish. We're gonna go in with some lemon juice and some vinegar, all right? And these are nicely cut pre-packaged and stuff, so they're not too. Just wanna swirl them around in that lemon juice and vinegar water. Then we're gonna drain this off and we're gonna rinse them two more times. Then we're gonna pat them dry and we're gonna start seasoning. All right, so I'll see you over at the season station. All right, so now we're gonna be making our batter for our fish, all right? So we're gonna go in with one and a half cup of flour. All right, one and a half cup of flour. We're gonna go in with, and that's self-rising flour, all right? Two tablespoons of cornstarch. And we're gonna go in with one teaspoon of baking powder. Because the self-rising flour already have in that. We're gonna season to taste. We're going to make some ground jerk seasoning. Some Cajun seasoning. All right. Some onion powder. garlic powder, some all-purpose adobo seasoning, badia complete seasoning, and I'm gonna light the season the fish still even though we're putting the batter because as you know me I like to make sure the flavors are layered and then that's some black pepper we just want to whisk in all of these together we're not adding any salt to this batter either because we're not trying to make salty fish. We just want to have something that's really flavorful. All right. So that's our seasoned flour. We're going to go in with some water. You can use beer also for this, but I don't have any beer. So we're using just water. All right. And you want to make the batter not too thin and not too thick. You want it to be able to coat the fish nicely. So we're gonna finish with this off camera. And then once we're ready to batter our fish, then you'll see the proper consistency, all right? All right, guys, so now it's time to season our fish. All right, we're going on with some onion powder. And you don't have to put it on both sides. Just make sure you season liberally on this one side and then you just roll it in. A lot of people tell, oh, flip it out. Like, you don't have to do all that. Mm -mm. What goes on the board 
we'll season the other side so you just rub it up in there so onion powder garlic powder um this is our all-purpose seasoning now if you all haven't seen my one season challenge go check that out because that was epic you, you see how much seasoning i'm using right now and i use one seasoning on that challenge and the food didn't taste like it, it was delicious it was delicious so that's some cajun um or ground jerk seasoning now you know i live by this in my badia mm -hmm. yes sir yes ma'am all right and then complete seasoning You might be like, damn, Adrian, you just season the batter, you seasoning the fish too. Yeah, hell yeah. All right. And some black pepper, last but not least. Pepper make everything better. Uh-huh. All right, so you see how there's seasoning on the bottom of the board. So that's when you go and you dab that fish into that seasoning. Dab it. Dab it. And you pretty much just rub all of them together like this. Get everything nicely coated. As you said, we don't want to over season these fish either because we already have seasoning on the batter. All right. So we're gonna let this sit for a few minutes. Our oil is heating. We're gonna come right back and start chopping our vegetables. And I'll see you in just a few. All right, guys. So we have our bok choy and our cabbage. Now uh, we just want to cut them up. So. Hopefully you know how to cut some cabbage, right? I think you should know how to cut some cabbage. We're just gonna do a quick cutting and then um, we'll finish up the rest off camera. So as you see, you just wanna cut out that core piece right there. And then you just wanna slice that up. We're gonna go to our back toy. And you're just gonna cut the bottom off like that. And you just slice it up. All right, so we're gonna finish up the rest off camera and we'll be right back. All right, so batter is already mixed. As you see that whole cup of water that I had, I use it. So as you can see, it's streaming and it's still a little bit thick. We're gonna um, put in some of our fish pieces. All right. And we're gonna just coat them all over. And we're gonna move over to the stove where we're gonna um, get these in our hot oil. We're also gonna start on our veggies, all right? So I'll see you over at the stove. All right, so our oil is heated. We got our fish all coated. We're gonna go into our oil. All right. And we're gonna fry these up for about seven to 10 minutes. All right, so in our pot right here, we have a little bit of butter and oil, and some peppers and onions. We're gonna go in with our garlic a little bit later. I've already chopped up cabbage and bok choy. We're just gonna put all of this in, and we're gonna cover it up once it start wilted. Then we're gonna come back adding our garlic and our seasoning. All right, so I'll see you in just a few. Just look at that color on that fish. Oh my goodness. Woo. Just look at that crust. Oh my goodness. This is a little fine sound. Woo. I'm telling you, this batter is going to be delicious. Oh my goodness. Wow. All right, look at that golden brown fish. So this batch is done. We're gonna go ahead and take them off, put them on some paper towels. And then we're gonna get our other batch. We're gonna go in with our other batch of fish. 
You want to drain out the excess um, batter. We're gonna fry these up, so we'll be right back. That's my fishy here fried over there. So after a few minutes covered, steady to get nice and welted. We're gonna go in with a little bit more butter and we're gonna start seasoning up our veggies. So I'll see you in just a few. All right, so went in with some butter and some minced garlic. So now it's time to season. We're gonna go in with some Badia complete seasoning. And we're doing all of this to taste some Cajun seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper of course, and we're going to go in with a little bit of garlic salt and parsley. We're gonna mix this all in, and our veggies are almost done. We're gonna let this go for like another two, three minutes, and we'll have our delicious cabbage and bok choy medley. All right, so our last batch of fish is nice and golden. They're done. We're gonna go ahead and move these out and put them on paper towel to drain, and then we're gonna plate this up for us, all right? So I'll see you in just a few. All right, guys, so here's our finished product. Just look at that crust on that fish. Oh my goodness, look at that veggie. And the be live, be live, be live one time. Oh my. So guys, I want to say thank you so much for watching. If you like the content and you've been here before and you still haven't hit that subscribe button, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss a brand new upload. And as I always say, share with your friends, share with your family, share with your neighbors. Don't be selfish because they want to be a part of this fun and personality. Please don't click off the videos yet because you want to be serenaded by the one and only Silas Mukbang. Thank you, thank you for today. Look out for part two, which is going to be the Mukbang. Love you guys. See you later. Mm -hmm.